Hello friends, today we will see a very important topic about VFD. We see a serial communication, a mode bus communication between the VFD and the PC. Just like this video, subscribe and don't forget to ring the so, bell. First of all, we will see a hardware, what we have and what we need to do the communication between the VFD and the PC. So for that, first of all, you need a manual of the VFD. I have VFD Delta EL manual. So I have a manual of it. Whichever the VFD you have, the concept for the communication is the same. So don't worry, just you must have the proper manual PDF with you and check. If not, then download it from the respected website. Okay. So first of all, from the VFD side, I have RS-485 interface, serial interface, okay? And PC side, I have a USB. So USB is RS-232 uh, interface. So what I need is one side is 485 connector and it will convert this RS-485 into the RS-232 converter. So I have one converter with me and respected connecting cable so this uh, serial communication is a two-way communication and two-wire communication so let me show you first uh, what we will do in vfd side so in a vfd side in the manual it says in rs44 uh, 485 connector we have one to eight pins okay so this one to eight pins is also assigned what is the duty of this 8 pin what we need is this 4 4 and 5 number pin only this is the data minus data plus might here is written sg minus sg plus into your manual might it is written data plus data minus d plus d minus whatever it is but we need these two pins only here it's pin number 4 and 5 might into your manual it's showing one or two two or three three or five five or six whatever you have whatever written into your manual follow that number only okay so these two cable i will connect into my connector side 485 side and now second you need a software also what model you have a plc i have vfd el delta el okay so i you have a different uh, manufacturer for the vfd so go into their the website and download it for your vfd okay so in a serial communication we have ascii mode hcii and second is the RTU mode. So I will explain you both the data format for you. So what is ASCII is a seven bit of code for the respected character. Whatever the character we want to send is in the digital form and in the seven bit data format. So this is the table I will for the ASCII code and the RTU is eight bit data code. So both the difference is only this that ASCII is a 7-bit code and RTU is 8-bit code but the remaining part for this serial communication is the same so let me take an example only for the ASCII and you will understand the RTU okay so when we send the data the hardware must know that we are sending it so for that uh, when we are sending 7-bit in a ser serial communication step by step before the bits a one start bit is required so there is one start bit before the our data then how the hardware will identify that data you send is complete that is he received complete 7 bit so one stop bit also required one or two that I will explain you okay so stop bit also required and in between for the error correction purpose there is a parity bit also so the what is the parity bit there is a three uh, parity parity even 
parity odd parity and non parity means there is no use of added bit okay so what it will do it will count number of ones in our data bit data bits so if there is a number of count of ones are odd so it is called odd parity will put zero uh, sorry one in even then it will put one and none that means there is no use of none uh, parity bit so there is no parity bit in after the our uh, data bit so this is the construction of the format we can say a data format to send a data in a ascii mode if it is a rtu mode then our main bit characters are 8 bit only okay okay friends so now i'm going to open the software as per the manufacturers vft uh soft okay and into this we will do the communication so it's already open and click on the offline so because i want to go on online so first it says please make sure the communication cable is already connected to pc so it's connected and also this rs j45 is also connected to the vfd so there is uh, hardware is connected right now let me go to the online but uh, here we have to set some parameters so here is the com port so for my computer the com port 3 is i'm going to communicate with the vfd for you might is a different usb com port okay so select as per your computer that which com port you are going want to use to communicate with the vfd next is the bounded and protocols so in the protocols i told you is ascii mode and the rtu mode so here i am going to use ascii mode next is the baud rate what is the baud rate baud rate is the number of bits i want to transfer per second so here i am going to select 9600 as per the manufacturer you can change okay uh, how much you want to transfer so what is this parameter what why i am select, selecting this that i am going to tell you first so in the manufacturing manual for this model here is the some protocols is written is set at, set by default and that i already explained you about it okay so first of all this baud rate for the baud rate the parameter is 901 transmission speed as i told you so here the baud rate i selected 9600 rate that is factory set setting and i'm going not going to change it right now oh, this is the baud rate next it transmission fault treatment this is the by default i'm not going to change it and here that i told you that protocols that is ascii mode or rtu mode okay you can see that in a ascii mode there is a 7 bit rtu mode is 8 bit okay second is n e o is a non parity even parity and odd parity and next is a stop bit so by default is a factor setting 0 so this one 7 and 2 okay so that i am going to change here in our software if you want software setting default then come here and change the pair, uh, vfd parameter but i'm not going to change a vfd parameter i'm going to change in a software so my software and the vfd will communicate with proper so here is a 2 a 7 and 2 7 bits non parity and 2 n bits okay in advanced setting there is a timeout and retry time i am not going to change it so my setting in the software is done now let me test it so here you can see a green button came so now my vft is com properly connected with software my computer so how we can download the parameter into this one so go into the parameter click on it here is already i downloaded before but for you i'm going to show you that go into the read drive so after clicking on 
uh, read drive. So we'll download all the parameter from the VFD. From the VFD to my computer. So this is all parameter which is inside the VFD right now. I can change the parameter from here and upload it into the so I will show you one example and stop the video okay so here you can see uh, F60 that is right now a frequency okay this is the maximum frequency so here this parameter 1.00 I will going to change this okay click on it so what it says the maximum output frequency that is a minimum 50 and our maximum 600 but right now it is showing 60 so what I'm going to do I'm going to put it 50 minimum okay and click it okay so right now here is a tick mark so here the option right select or write all so what I'm going to I change only one parameter one tick mark is there so write only selected and click on it so it's showing here it will appear all the parameter that you changed okay but right now I change only one if I will change many parameters it will appear here okay so what it say the parameters in a read cannot be set during a running condition but right now it is not in a running condition so we can write okay so right now click it okay now it says downloading a parameter into the VFD so now you can see here before it was F50 a uh, 60 and right now it is 50 here also you can see by checking the same parameter 1.0 okay so parameter 1.0 it's showing 50 so likewise you can download the parameter change it and upload it into the VFT you can do into your module also with same method so this is the communication with uh, P PC laptop only in the next video I'm going to show you the how to we how we can design a program and set the parameter to make the communication between the PLC and the VFD and also we will run the motor with that also so please guys if you complete the video wait for the next video I am going to upload it and watch full video just like this video subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell